had the pleasure of visiting Athens, Greece and moved about with ease. So today I'm saving you hours of research and time by sharing how to get around Athens on a budget. We're talking about Athens public transportation tickets, passes, maps, how to get from Athens International Airport to the city center of Athens and so much more. Hi everybody, I'm Antoinette and welcome back to my channel. At Frolic and Courage, I like to help you plan well, have fun and travel the world. Today y'all, it's all about how to get around Athens on a budget. First, I'll give you an overview of the entire Athens public transportation system. Then we'll talk about the types of transportation available, the hours of operation, followed by how to get around Athens specifically without a car, tickets, costs, where to buy the tickets, all the great details. And then we'll discuss if there's Uber or not in Athens. We'll close with how to get to and from the airport to the city center, how to get from the Piraeus cruise port, and whether it's worth it to take a taxi. We'll end the whole video with which methods may be best for your trip. So let's jump right in. Here's a quick overview of the system. So where is Athens, Greece located? In this video, I'm not talking about Athens, Georgia, or Athens, Alabama, or even Athens, California. I'm talking about Athens, Greece, located on the southeast side of the country. It is the capital and the largest city of Greece. There are over 6,000 islands and 13 administrative regions in Greece. Athens is specifically located in the Attica region. Keep this in mind for future videos because I may reference this at some point. The Attica region is divided into eight regional units or districts. There's North Athens, East Attica, South Athens, West Athens, Central Athens, Piraeus, and the islands. You will find Athens in the central region. Within Athens, there are many neighborhoods, each with its own charm and appeal, such as Kolonaki, which is an elegant and trendy area with high-end boutiques. There's Monasteraki, which is a historic area where it's your main shopping district, your flea markets, and it's centrally located. Plaka is the oldest district and it's popular for visitors. It's charming and picturesque and a little bit crowded. Ceres, artsy and bohemian, and the Acropolis, which is obvious it has the Acropolis. There are multiple types of transportation available in Athens. There's a metro, a bus, a tram, a trolley, a train, taxis, and Uber's free now rideshare services. So there are plenty of ways to get around Athens on a budget, no matter what your budget is, whether it's $5 or $5,000, there's a method for you. And we'll talk in detail more about each of those later in this video. As you learn to navigate around the city of Athens, you'll notice the following transportation services and acronyms. So pay attention. Public transportation is ran by the Athens Urban Transport Organization, or OASA. It's a company that issues the Athena public transportation products that we're gonna talk about in this video. There's the Urban Rail Transport, or STASY, which operates the metro and trams. There's also the Road Transport, OSY, which operates the buses and trolleys and the Hellenic Railways Organization, Train OSE. It's a suburban railway that runs trains to and from Greece. Now that we know a little bit about how Athens is laid out, the different forms of transportation, and the helpful service acronyms, now let's talk about how to get around Athens on a budget. So get your pen, get your paper, I mean, get your phone ready to take notes, or you can just click the blog link in the description box down below if you don't feel like taking notes. So. How do you get around Athens on a budget? From my personal experience, the best way to get around Athens on a budget and without a car is to walk. Yes, walk. We walked everywhere on our trip and we honestly didn't even really need to take public transportation because we stayed in Monasteraki, which is centrally located and within about a 10 to 20 minute walk from just about everything, the Acropolis, restaurants, shopping and entertainment. We walked everywhere. And once you get from the airport to the city center, Athens is an incredibly walkable city. And if you're able, I recommend walking to get to your destination. It's free, it's good exercise, and a great way to see the city is to see it on foot. Walking is the best way to get around Athens, Greece on a budget. So get those walking shoes ready and have a great time. In addition to walking, you can also take public transportation. Public transportation in Athens is easy to use and it's reliable. If you're looking to get around Athens on a budget, it is an efficient way to cover a lot of ground for a small price. If you decide to take public transportation, here's some useful information. Generally, all forms of public transportation that I'll list in this section operate every day, 5.30 a.m. to midnight, and Friday and Saturdays until about 1.30 a.m. You can buy tickets for public transportation at the counters of the metro station, select bus stations, 
or via automatic vending machines. Credit card and cash up to 20 euros are accepted, but don't bring anything higher than 20 euros. You can also load your tickets and passes on the Athena ticket or the Athena card. So what exactly is an Athena ticket or an Athena card? An Athena ticket, also known as a multiple ticket, is a reloadable paper fare card, and it's best used if you're visiting Athens for less than 30 days. And this video is going to specifically talk about visiting less than 30 days. So we won't get into the longer cards, which is the Athena card. It's a reloadable plastic card that can hold up to 50 euros in value for a long-term pass. It comes in two forms, anonymous and personalized. Anonymous is for those who regularly use public transportation over a consistent amount of time. It could be short term or long term, but generally they're made for people who have multiple passes on their products. And the personal card requires your personal data, like a photo, a valid state ID number, and is intended for those staying longer than 30 days. Again, we'll focus on just these quick trips for visitors. If you take public transportation, you also wanna know that you have to validate your ticket or you will pay a hefty 72 euro fine if you don't. Always validate your ticket. And now that we have that out of the way, let's talk specifics. One way to get around Athens on a budget using public transportation is to take the metro. There are three color-coded metro lines labeled M1 to M3. There's green, which is M1, red, which is M2, and blue, which is M3. And that blue line will take you to and from the airport. But again, we'll talk about that a little later in this video. The Athens metro runs every five to 10 minutes. And to ride the metro, you have to purchase your fare first, then validate your ticket on entry and exit. Validate your ticket on the right and you walk through on your left. Remember, validate your ticket or pay a fine. I'll also link to the metro map in my blog, so don't forget to check that out so you'll have that handy when you're visiting Athens. In addition to the metro, you could take the bus, the tram, or the trolley. There are over 60 bus routes that run every 10 to 15 minutes. Unlike the metro, you just have to validate your ticket on entry only. You don't have to validate your ticket on exit. There are two trams, T6 and T7, that make 48 total stops around the city. Honestly, you'll probably either just walk or take the metro for the most part. But now that you know the different forms of transportation that you can take, let's talk about the different tickets that you can purchase to load onto your Athena ticket or card. There are single tickets and there are unlimited trip tickets. First, let's start with the single ride tickets that you can purchase. One ticket is one euro 20 cents. That's incredibly cheap. And it's valid for a 90 minute journey on any form of the public transportation, except to and from the airport. So the metro, the bus, the tram, the trolleys, one ride, one euro 20. You can also purchase ticket packs, which is a group of single tickets. You can purchase a two ticket pack for two euros 30, a five ticket pack for a five euro 70, or 10 tickets and a bonus for 12 euros. Incredibly cheap. You can also buy a single ride on the express buses, which I'll talk about a little bit later when we talk about airport transportation. Those are five euros 50. And remember, these single tickets do not include airport metro or the express bus unless indicated. There are also unlimited travel tickets. You can get a daily ticket for four euros 10. That is not valid for the X80 bus to the airport. There's also a three day tourist pass for unlimited X80 bus line and an airport round trip metro ticket. And that is 20 euros. Or you can get a five day pass for eight euros 20. And those are pretty much it for the public transportation tickets in Athens. So is there an Uber in Athens? Does Athens have Uber or taxis or ride sharing apps? Well, yes, Uber is available in Athens as well as a European app free now, which is like an Uber. Taxi rides are really, really affordable. I'm saying Uber, I'm saying taxi, so which is it? And I typically don't say this. And in fact, I have never said this in a transportation video before. And I've made videos on how to get around Paris and Rome and London, Miami, Chicago, Barcelona. And those links will be in the description box below. So this may come as a shock to the Frog and Courage family. But taking a taxi is an easy, affordable way to get around Athens on a budget. I said it. I said it, taking a taxi is an affordable way to get around. And note that when you use an Uber in Athens, it will actually summon an official taxi, not a regular person driving their regular car. So how much is an Uber or rather how much is a taxi in Athens? 
Taxis start at 1 euro 80 with a 4 euro minimum no matter the distance. At this price, it is a very affordable way to get around Athens for shorter distances. As long as traffic is light, a trip within a city will run you under 6 euros. I mean, we took a taxi a few times during our trip and each time we got it coordinated by either the restaurant staff or our hotel staff so there were no language barriers or anything like that and it was a fast, affordable way to get around Athens on a budget. Other than taxis or public transportation, should you rent a car or drive in Athens? What about parking? You can drive, but honestly parking is terrible. That, don't do it. I, I don't recommend you doing it. It's easy enough to get around Athens by walking or by taking public transportation. And there's honestly no need to rent a car unless you absolutely have to. So now that you know the ticket types and to put your tickets on an Athena card, I bet you're probably wondering, how do I get from Athens airport to the city center? It's pretty easy, but requires a special airport ticket. You could take the metro, the bus, or of course, some in a taxi. Let's first start with the metro. This is what we did, and it's also what you saw in my Athens vlogs. The metro from the airport to the city center of Athens takes around 40 minutes. Your tickets are valid from 90 minutes and you can transfer to the tram bus, but not one of those airport express buses, to your final destination. The metro runs every 36 minutes from about 6, 10 a.m. to 11:30 p.m. on a specific timetable. It costs about nine euros one way, 16 euros two ways, or you can purchase that three-day tourist ticket I mentioned for 20 euros. So how do you get to the city center via metro from the airport? You wanna take Metro Line 3 because it connects directly from the airport to Syntagma and a lot of the most popular stops in Athens. So once you get off the plane, after you go through customs, follow all the signs to ground transportation and baggage claim. Once you get to the baggage claim area, you're gonna look for signs that say, exit the airport to trains. You're gonna walk across the street, past all the taxis and follow the signs that say two trains until you reach elevators. And you're gonna take that elevator to the first floor. You're gonna go across the walkway to the Metro station. And there you can buy your passes. You've got three options for your passes, that airport ticket for the bus for 90 minutes, you've got the metro tickets for 9 to 11 euros for 90 minutes, and there you have it. Of course, you're gonna scan your pass, walk through the gate, and be wary of gate hoppers because they really do exist. You're gonna go down two flights of escalator stairs. Once you go down those escalators or those stairs, you just sit on the train. There's only one train going towards Nikia on that Metro Line 3 blue line. There are luggage racks available, space for your carry-on, and seating is pretty much spaced out. It's a 45 minute ride, and you can exit at the Syntagma Square station or the Monastiraki station. And that's it, you're done. That's how you get from the Athens airport to the city center via Metro. Like I mentioned before, beware of Metro jumpers who will squeeze through the turnstiles with you. We've had some people try that on us. And honestly, like, we are not together. I don't want to be seen as aiding and abetting these Metro theft schemes. So as you're going to the Metro from the airport, just watch your back to make sure nobody tries to jump in with you on your ticket and make it look like you're together when you're really not doing anything illegal. Aside from the Metro, you can take the bus. You can take a city bus or an airport express bus. I would recommend the airport express bus. But all the buses run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every 30 minutes and directly connect the airport to the Syntagma, Piraeus, and a couple of other inner city stops. The express buses have an X before the bus route number on the bus. Your ticket is valid for one trip and you can purchase this express bus ticket from the vendors or on the bus directly. I prefer if you have exact cash, but again, nothing more than 20 euros. There are a number of express buses that you can take, but the airport express bus to the city center of Athens is bus X95, which will lead you to Syntagma Square and take about one hour. There's also bus X96 to the cruise port, X93 to different stations, X97 to a different metro, but X95 is your airport express bus to Syntagma Square in the city center of Athens. The tickets cost only five euros and 50 cents for one way. You can pay cash or credit card via the kiosk or cash on the bus, but again, nothing greater than 20 euros. Try to have exact change. How do you get from Athens airport to the city center via that express bus? From the airport, once you go through customs, you're gonna follow signs that say two buses and walk to the ground floor arrivals level between exits four and five. You're gonna take bus X95 to Syntagma Square. The bus will drop you from Othono Street in Syntagma Square in front of the Eurobank. So you're gonna be dropped off right at Syntagma the square and from there you could either walk to your hotel or your accommodations or take a short taxi or jump on the metro it's up to you 
You can also take a ride sharing service to and from the airport to the city center of Athens. Now, if you take a taxi or an Uber or free now, it's gonna cost you 40 to 60 euros depending on the time of day. And it'll take about 45 minutes to an hour. If you're gonna take a taxi, you have to ask if the taxi takes credit cards before you jump in and throw your bags in. And y'all cash is king, so try to have some euros on hand with you. Similar to the Metro, you're gonna follow the signs to the trains. Right before you cross that street, there is going to be a slew of yellow taxis waiting for you. We actually took a taxi on our way back from Athens to the airport, and it was about 50, 55 euros. We had a 2 a.m. call time at the airport for a flight that left at 5 a.m. It was hilarious because as soon as our hotel called that taxi, our driver came, he was so friendly and so nice, but I don't know where he got this from, but maybe it's experience. As soon as we got in, he could tell we had, you know, US accents. And he's like, oh, you guys are Americans, right? And we're like, yeah, we're Americans. He's like, all right, Americans like to go fast. Europeans don't like to go fast, but I will get you to the airport fast. And boy, did we get there fast. I mean, we had our seat belts locked in tightly because this guy was flying through the streets. And I'm so glad nobody was on the road because, I mean, we got to the airport in, you know, instead of 45 minutes to an hour in like 30 minutes. With our lives intact. But we got there, no problems, no issues. And it was just fine. So you can take a taxi, just know it's gonna cost more than the different transportation methods that I mentioned, but it is available. And you might have a thrilling experience out of it too, like we did. I also mentioned that you can go from the Athens airport to the cruise ports if you wanna catch a cruise. I didn't personally do this, but let me give you some advice on how to do it. The cruise port is about 28 miles or 45 minutes from the airport and about 20 to 30 minutes away from central Athens, up to an hour with traffic. So just make sure you leave early just in case there's any additional traffic or strikes or any number of things happen. Public transportation will drop you off nearby the ports. Then you will have to walk from there. For this reason, I recommend taking a taxi or an Uber or a free now or coordinate transportation with your cruise line. This way, you can order a car that will fit all your luggage and it'll cost around 54 to 70 euros. But if you wanna take your chances with all your luggage, you can take the Metro or bus. If you're gonna take the Metro, you exit at the Piraeus Metro stop. And then you've gotta walk, from what I understand, about a mile to the port with your luggage. You can also take that X80 express bus to Piraeus, which also stops at the Acropolis and Syntagma Square. It only operates between May and October, every 35 to 40 minutes from 7 a.m. to 9.15 p.m. It takes about 30 minutes from the city center to the port. And there are 16 stops that stop at major sites like the Planetarium, uh, the Acropolis Museum, the Theater of Piraeus, the Modern National Art Museum, et cetera, et cetera. So you can take this bus when you are at the cruise port to get to the city center and from when you are in the city center to get back. You can also take bus X96 from the Athens airport to the port of Piraeus as well. And like I mentioned earlier, that takes about an hour to an hour, 15 minutes. Just like you would take the bus from the airport to the city center, you follow those signs to buses and then you jump on the appropriate bus. Now that you know the different ticket types, how to get around Athens on a budget, the cost of those tickets, and how Athens is laid out, which ticket is best for your trip to Athens? From my experience, honestly, I'd recommend purchasing an airport ticket to get to the city center and then walk around. You can take an Uber or a free now or a taxi for longer distances if traffic is light. And if you're pressed for time and you wanna see the major sites, there are also bus tours and I'll link a few of those in the description box down below. But honestly, it really depends on your itinerary, who you're traveling with, how mobile they are, how often you need to travel using public transportation and your expectations. I can't tell you what will work best for your specific itinerary, but once you have your itinerary set, I recommend using Google Maps to determine the best way to get from point A to point B and to figure out where those closest metro stations are to what you wanna do. And from there, if you see that there's a lot of handy bus routes or metro routes, then I recommend buying a metro ticket or a bus ticket or one of those ticket packs. But if you find that the walking directions are actually faster than any type of transportation, then you know you just need to get from the airport to the city center and then walk around the city. If you want a private airport transfer where somebody will wait for you at the airport with the little signs, you can also book one of those too. I will also put a link to one of those in the description box down below. 
The cost varies by the number of travelers, but it's also a really comfortable experience. As you've seen, there are a lot of great, affordable ways to get around Athens on a budget. So choose what's best for you and enjoy your trip. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and you can also save it for future reference and share it with a friend who's also going with you to Athens. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video where you'll see exactly what it's like traveling around Athens for three days in my vlogs. You can also see where I ate in my Athens playlist linked at the end of this video. I hope that this video helped you plan well, have fun and travel the world to Athens, Greece. I'll catch you in the next video, bye.